can see our front desk. Cheryl's going to open the door for me. You can see our front desk, the control area, which is going to be where everyone checks in for the tournament. We have a great Papa Nicholas coffee bar for all of our guests the entire weekend. We'll be serving great Papa Nicholas coffee throughout the entire weekend. We're really thrilled about that. And as you come into the glass court, we have our secondary court, if we call it, our court four, which is an exhibition court over here. And then all the way down the hall, we have courts, the courts through number 12. So that's a, a great view of our court area. And the nucleus of the club, where everything happens, of course, is the glass court lounge. And the glass court lounge will have seating for, for folks, We'll have viewing on the big screen TV on the left and live entertainment on Saturday night as well. And then over here, we have our, our basketball court, our bar, there's an outside pool for members. And then over here on the right side, there's a window into our inside pool and running track. And of course, viewing of our glass court. We'll have a silent auction over here in the corner by the fireplace. And then we move into our glass court itself, which is pretty exciting. A lot of this equipment will be moved back so that we'll have seating on the left side of the court. Our sponsors will be on the back wall. And this glass court has been the site of matches uh, amongst pros ranging from Marty Hogan and Davey Bledsoe, uh, a well-known match from the late, actually early 1980s, uh, and all the way up through our current pros. And this is where all of our quarterfinals on will take place in both singles and doubles. So this is really where it's all going to happen. You can see all of our sponsors around on the walls, uh, our banners that we have up for, for all those, and of course the front wall will have more that you'll see during the tournament. So that's a quick view of the glass court, uh, and I wanted to make sure that everybody got a chance to see this great facility, and where we're going to spend the entire weekend watching some great pro racquetball. Thank you. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our first semi-final matchup. This is going to be a good one. The bottom half of the draw, the top seed is the number three seed, Kane Waslinchuk, and he's taking on um, Conrado Moscoso, who comes in as the seventh seed, taking out number two. Uh, actually, Rodrigo Montoya was 15, but he took out number two, Perea. So that's how Moscoso got here. Kane pretty easy win over Portillo seven and five and Acuna was a three and three dispatch um Fabio what can you say about Conrado Moscoso well, right now as we mentioned before the current uh, Bolivian national champion in singles and in mixed you know he seems really really well right now I, I I saw him warm up I saw him get ready he's very focused he's on time everything's going his way and you know what this is very interesting for Conrado because you remember the past two times uh, he met Kane, we were all looking forward to those matches, and they gave us every time quite the show. Yeah, uh, Kane is 4-0 and against Conrado Moscoso. They played in the Longhorn Open, which was literally Kane's backyard. Yeah. He was fired up for that win. That was in a quarterfinal matchup. He beat him 4-1. and Moscoso's never won a game against Kane, Waslin Chuck. Uh, Arizona Pro-Am, that was another one, uh, but you know, they met in the finals at the U.S. Open in 2019. Game number one was absolutely fantastic. The place was electric. That was 15-12, but then game two was kind of a letdown. Uh, and then Kane obviously won the whole turn the, the match and the tournament there. So um, players are on the court. Let's let's throw up the uh, the head-to-head -head matchups there that we have for Kane and Moscoso. You can kind of see. Uh, let's go to court side. And, and you'll see uh, Kane Waslinchuk, the number three seed, uh, number seven. Uh, the point differential is pretty big there. Yeah, you know, but that gap from seven to three, look, it's not that 500 points. It's not points. that big. It's not that yeah, big. Yeah, guys are tight in them. Yeah. So interesting, interesting. Moscoso won the coin to us. Moscoso has a, a, a very religious kind of thing going on. He prays before. 
uh, the court. You know, these guys are pretty pleasant with each other before and after. Yes. But during, I'm not, I don't think we're going to see that. Uh, and you'll see Moscoso doing his little yeah, his prayer there. Great sportsman, both you know on the court one during the match, and we'll see how it goes. I mean, Corrado Moscoso, you know, he's focused. And you know what I felt this time from Corrado? I didn't feel any pressure on his behalf. I talked with him. He feels he feels fine. No pressure at all. He just wants to go in and play and get the job done. Yeah, well, it's going to be a tall <laughs> task, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, the last time they played in in 2020, which was January, the long on open. That was the quarterfinals, a four and one victory for Kane. Um, and, and again, m many players, many players are, are, were always anointed as the next one yeah. uh, during Kane's dominance. And you know, Kane says there's always going to be someone else. And when, when that person comes, Kane likes to prove his point that he is and still can play at such a high level. So uh, I'm expecting. Uh, a good match here, but as you see already, one quick point for Wes Lenchuk. Thank you for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. This is the 37th annual Papa Nicholas Coffee Shamrock Shootout presented by the Glass Court. This is our first semifinal match. And that is a flat rollout. That is nothing but smoke so far from Kane Wes Lenchuk. I want to thank everyone for watching, not only in the U.S., Canada, but also Bolivia and the rest of Latin America. Thank you for tuning in. Please like our post, share our feed. Keep following us. This is Super Saturday, the first semifinal. I want to remind everybody See, that there was con there was some that was close. Kane took that shot. I like it. So I want to remind everybody that after this one, we have the next singles semifinal, and later tonight, the two double semifinals. Oh, he's appealing his own serve. He's appealing his own serve. That he it was appealed short. his own serve as short, and it is overturned. Very interesting. What a great use of an appeal. Conrado thought it was a side out. So this is the second serve for Kane Wazalenchuk. <clears throat> that is a very smart way to use an appeal. <clears throat> a lot of people... Good get there. Set up again. Another good get with a racket by Moscoso. Wow! What a rally, Conrado. Big mistake, Fabio. Kept alive. Got to shoot that ball. Listen, check this out. That little, t look at these, these gets were great. But look at this get. But his mistake, Conrado, he's got to just blast that ball. True. Can't play around with it. Again, you're playing, again, someone who's considered the best player to ever play. Don't give up opportunities like that. What a great rally right there. <laughs> just at the beginning of game number one. Wait till you see the rest of this match. Three nothing. Flat rollout. Waslin Chuck. Conrado's taking his time right there. IRT wants to give a special thanks to the friends of the tours. This weekend's friends are Gene Fry, Dave Kerr, Bob Jackson, Jack Goldberg. And there's a couple that want to rename Nameless. You want to be a friend of the tour? Please email me, dean at irt-tour.com. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you for the stars, ladies and gentlemen. Stars flowing in. You enjoying this free racquetball? Our stars program will be... 100% beneficial to the player programs. That ball that came off the back wall had a unusual bounce. King can get the setup. Side out. 
Mayor T wants to give a special thanks to Gearbox for being one of our inside industry partners. Check out all the latest and innovative equipment from, Ge equipment from Gearbox. Gearbox supports not only the sport of racquetball, but many athletes as well. www.gearboxsports.com. It's a pretty good crowd for a Saturday, Fabio. Regular crowd shuffles in. They are. Shuffle, shuffle. Point, Moscoso, good rally. That's an interesting serve with that high lob to Kane's backhand. Interesting. It worked well. Conrado finally on the board. I want to thank everybody for tuning in on Facebook and on YouTube. Please check out our Instagram page. Please follow us on Twitter. Point again. Going to be a great night of racquetball. Two semifinal singles, followed by what might be a short break. It might actually just be a cup of coffee, Papa Nicholas coffee, to be honest. And then we have two semifinal doubles matches tonight. Straight into the ground, point Moscoso. So Moscoso's clearly seeing something right now. That's very interesting. You know, those th last three serves, especially those the last two serves. Going to Kane's high backhand. He's going to come and cut it off. No, he can't. Excellent shot there by Moscoso. Wow, what a rollout. So, Dean, tell me something. You see those last three serves to uh, Kane's high backhand. They work well. Why do you think Conrado changed it? Well, because, you know, Kane gets more comfortable with each serve. What a great pass there down the line, nice and high. Can't get it. <laughs> Another great shot by Kane Wasselin. What a, what a rally. It had everything even between the legs, behind the back. Like I said before, these guys always give us quite a show. Wow. Another great pass. That's... That pass is down the line, touching the side wall, and it just slows up, doesn't come off the back wall. But what I didn't like right there, Dean, is the choice of, of, of shot that, that Conrado took. He had Kane almost sitting down. Deep, he did a reverse pinch, yeah. the ball came out, instead of a, just a regular pinch shot. Skipped in. Kane's gonna go for those. I mean, he's trying to roll the ball every opportunity. You know, if 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 he feels he's got enough in this for offense, he's he's going for it. Yep. Want to say hi to Anita Maldonado. This is our first semifinal matchup. The next one is Rocky Carson versus Alex Landa. The number one seed Dela Rosa out. The number two seed Perea out. Three and four are left. Three, four, eight, and seven. Very interesting. It's called it a screen. Eh? Maybe his racket was over. Kane disagrees. Well, yeah, but it's not worth appealing, though. No, not at this point of the game. He's up for 8-4. Sometimes he, he, you know, a player when they, they just, they feel so st strongly about something on the court, they'll appeal. They don't, the thought process goes out of the window. 
Wow. Wow, shoulder height, backhand splat rollout by Kane Wasslin Chuck. That was just crazy. That was nasty. Double digits now for Kane Wazelenchuk. 10 serving four on the headpan scoreboard. A point Ace. serve called by the referee. 12 4 on a head pen scoreboard. Head pen, not only the scoreboard sponsor of the IRT, not just the official ball of the IRT. Head pen is the industry leader in all things racquetball. Check them out online today. www.head.com slash racquetball. Way right too there. much mustard on that. He's passing Conrado left and right. Timeout on the court. That's a smart move by Conrado Moscoso. Players take a break. We will too. We'll be back right here on IRT Live. RYDF helps us a lot with uh, well, almost every tournament with the uh, hotel that it's one of the expenses. Without them, I don't think I could go to every tournament to play. Well, I love racquetball and I want to be the best. I want to be one of the youngest players to ever win a title or the US Open. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 12-4 on the head pen scoreboard. Waslin Chuck with a comfortable lead. It's a good I timeout mean, there for Conrado. Yeah, but it wasn't. It was a loose serve. I mean, that serve he came flying off the back wall. That's Kane's serves much better than in that moment. Well, this is what Conrado needs—an opportunity to go on full offense. You know, he needs this to build momentum, g gain a little confidence. Good shot right there. Point Moscoso. Let me see the the what someone likes to call the the foot fault camera. I think that was a foot fault, but I think it was the first one called this match. Wow, it's just too much. <laughs> Moscoso thought it skipped, but I think it was Absolutely perfect. The color shot good, but Agrado's appealing. One he up, I think it was one up, one down. Call stands, appeal used. So 13 serving five on the head pen scoreboard. Point, no chance there. No way. Uh, 
That's a nice little splat rollout of his own. Well, that's that's what Conrado needs to do. He looked at where Kane was, and he just hit it as quickly. You know, the element of surprise, Dean, is something that we don't talk about that much. And in racquetball, it's very important. Conrado didn't wait. He shot first and asked questions later. Absolutely. Second serve coming up. Moscoso is uh, not really. It's a good, good serve right there. S skip ball, Kane gives up point number six to Moscoso. What a serve and what a return. Second opportunity for game number one. Well, D, what I want to see really is if Conrado's going to shoot bombs, I would like to see him shoot bombs at Kane's backhand right there. It's not being effective for his forehand. That's a skip there right there. There it is, game one in the books, ladies and gentlemen. 15-6 on the headband scoreboard. We'll take a break and we'll be back two minutes right here on IRT Live. What the RYDF has done for the IRT has really provided deeper draws and the highest level of competition I believe the, the tour may have ever seen in the history of the sport. For everybody at home that has supported Reaching Your Dream Foundation, it's neat to see what they've done for our tour. Without them, our tour is not as strong. Racquetball is not as strong. It's because of them at home. The foundation supports uh, a lot of players. Uh, they help with uh, expenses and uh, room and all that kind of stuff. So it's a lot of help for, for all the players. It uh, motivates all the players to, to, to play more tournaments, to train harder to keep our level high. It makes me feel special because they are really nice people. They, they treat you nice. They make you feel like, like you're, you're important. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Players are getting ready. We're gonna put a couple of our sponsors up on the board right here and run through those quick. These are some proud sponsors of the tour, of the event, I'm sorry. 37th annual Papa Nicholas Coffee Shamrock Shootout. Thank you for your support. KWM Gutterman. Big supporter of Kane Wasslinchuk. Game two getting ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, what a way to start game number two, Dean, with an ace serve. Good spot, but what a great get by Kane. That's a miss hit there by Conrado Moscoso. One thing you have to keep in mind, Dean, I mean, uh, Kane was lunch and came to this event only to play exclusively singles. Conrado is actually still alive in doubles. He plays the semifinals later with Roland Keller. A 
I tell you, his serves are bombs. Momo Zalata, Formula Flow, thank you for sending us some stars watching back at home. Mr. Mauricio Sala, we miss you. We hope to see you in uh, California next month. Great shot, Moscoso to side out. My Pillow is one of the first IRT outside industry partners. Not only do they have amazing pillows, they also have slippers, mattress toppers, robes, and much, much more. Proudly made in the USA. I must say, check out the new slippers. I got them. And you should too. Visit mypillow.com today. Promotion code IRT for amazing discounts today. Once again, this is a Papa Nicholas coffee. Check them out online. You use promotion code R A C K E T B A L L 50. And you'll get 50% off all their coffee online. Show them the love. They supported the tournament here. There's no response to that. I mean, you could stand there and you still won't get it. So we're up to, oh, up and two now. that skipped that's that's a skip right there that was a good run for Moscoso he was stuck on the wall jumped up and that just causes an opponent to just make a a slight look and and take their eye off the ball for a you know a split second caused the skip thank you for the stars ladies and gentlemen On the line, winner by Kane Waslenchuk. Two zero slow start to game number two. We're about twenty seven minutes, twenty three minutes into this match. He's calling a replay. Kane Kane asked for it and he got it to him. Yeah. He did raise his hand. Sometimes this is what I don't understand. Some players do that, you know, like it may be a call that they don't like or they don't, you know, but it, it's early in a match or even if it's if the match, the differential in scores, it's still sometimes they think too much about that one call. Right in the dirt, Moscoso. I'll tell you the pressure. The pressure that you that gets put on you you're playing someone like Kane Waslinchuk, it's it's immense. And you're seeing, you know, sometimes what he's able to do to an opponent. Two bounces. Moscoso trying to get himself pumped up. What a get right there off the back wall. This is tough. But he 
kills it straight down the line. I thought that was gonna hang up in the corner. Well, that's that's a good way for Conrado to get on the board finally. One serving three now on the headpin scoreboard. Goes for the bottom board and skips it in. I honestly thought that a down the line shot was in Kane's arsenal right there, but he went with that splat shot. Skip, one Conrado, one away from tying. Eric, I'm, I'm gonna say not every serve, um, because of, there you saw one right there that was not a footfall. That was, Kane wanted a screen serve, and you can clearly see. The back of his foot was on the line, guys. I don't know if you saw that last rally, but that was pretty clear. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you, everyone, for the stars. Left it up, kill shot, Moscoso, keeping it close. Rather for the first time in this match, he's leading. Four to three, game number two. Did you see, once that ball was up in the air, Kane knew right away where the ball was gonna land and went right to that spot. Yeah. That's unbelievable court awareness right there. Wow, that is great ball control right there. That was a bullet of a serve. Even Kane had encroached down to get it. Wow, impressive. A lot of balls coming off the back wall. That's a point right there, automatic. Touched uh, Moscoso. Kane ties this one for, for a piece. And remember after this match, ladies and gentlemen, we will have Rocky Carson versus Alex Landa. That's the next semi-final of it's this Super Saturday. Kane really thought that was good. That's number three seed versus eight. One seed is out, two seed is out. Three seed is in the court right now, three versus seven. Good diving get by Kane Wasselchuk. Set up off the back wall. The pressure put on Moscoso to return that ball after Kane dove and got it. Fantastic. Well, Kane regains the lead again.
Second opportunity. Broken ball. Uh, Tommy, you have to buy the stars and then you have to send them to us. So, I'm Ooh. not really sure how the purchase works, but I know someone in the chat that is sending them can give you a little more hint. I think a guy like, um, let's see, Momo Zalata is in the chat box. Maybe you can, maybe you can uh, message Tommy Troutman Turbo and let him know how the stars work. That's going to be a footfall. Good shot there by Conrado. Moscoso. Conrado keeping it a little bit tighter than the first game. Five serving five. He's figuring something out here. That's an ace. serve. Ace serve there by Conrado. Regaining the lead. Short serve. Good mix up went from the forehand, from the backhand, I mean from the forehand now to the backhand. You know, again, just trying to keep Kane not being able to jump. You know, if you, you constantly serve to one side, he's definitely gonna see it. Wow, front wall, side wall, cracked out. It's good shot selection there by Kane. Just kept Moscoso as far away as possible. Let's see if he can tie this one. Cross court action right there. He went the other way. Another point. Kane ties it with. Tight again. Six apiece now. Short. Look at the touch right there. This is an exciting game, Dean. A lot of exchanges of leadership. Good smack off the back wall, set up. Shooting for broke, not a good shot. Definitely not. Trying to go for that free wall. Didn't work. Eight serving six now. Short ball. Let's see if Kane goes for the drive serve for the second time. Sometimes he's doing that high lob nick, but sometimes he goes right back to that drive serve. It's used, mostly it's a Z sometimes. Actually, that's exactly what it is. He's just so confident. 
that he takes that second serve offensively. Yeah, he he does, you know, take a little, take a little off the top, if you will, with that speed. Yeah. But still, he's because he's going to make sure he's not making a exactly. Mistake. But he's running that risk. Kill shot right there. 10-6. Monrado is changing his demeanor right now. He's probably considering a timeout if need be in the next point. Doesn't want to let get gain too far away. Point again, 11, serving six now. This is the biggest lead in game number two that Kane has had so far. Yeah, it's been pretty it's been pretty close. Yeah. Agreed. And we're about almost forty minutes in. Good pick up. Skipped it in. See, that's what also that's something different about Kane than most other players. He's going for these shots, He's he, and sometimes he makes a mistake. It's not often, but he makes the mistake and just walks to the back like, okay. He makes a lot of those mistakes on offense, but not too many when he's on defense. True. We said it a few times, Fabio. You know, what does Conrado have to do to f practice more of his serve to make sure he's not foot folding? That was flat as a pancake. Eleven six on the headpen scoreboard. We thanked all of our sponsors here this, this match. So next we need to thank the fans. And that was a bullet straight in. Timeout, Moscoso. We'll take a break. Be back right here on IRT Live. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Kane Waslinchuk with doubled up on Moscoso right here. Winning game one, 15-6, up 15, up 12-6 in game two. He's three points away from going to the finals. Very common thing for him. Yeah, and you know what? This is this is an interesting task right now for Conrado Moscoso to try to get back in this. You know, he took his uh, time out, talked to his camp, see what happens. I like though the determination on him. Short ball. Good serve, that's a Z. Look at that. It's a good ceiling ball right there. Excellent. I just hugged that wall. Again, I mean, I think that's something that we, we said it a few times, you know, what I think it was after the U.S. Open, uh, you know, what does Conrado Moscoso have to do to fix the, that serve, make it better, and make it 
and, and not footfall. Football is the call. <laughs> replay. That's should be a should be just a replay. Yes, it's a replay call by the referee. Obviously it's unintentional ball contact. Great shot by Kane and good wow. follow-up by Moscoso. You got to say, that was a quick reaction right there by the number three player right now on tour. Conrado was there, though. And that's what Conrado needs to do, not give up on those shots and not give up on this match. He's got everything he needs to come back from this. Wow, what a rip down the line for Kane. I remember, uh, Dean, when we were uh, last year in uh, Highland Ranch, Colorado. Conrado was down 0 and 9 on game number three versus Carson. He came back to win it. Yeah, but you know you're not going to be down that big and come back against a Kane was. I mean, it's just he's just the way Kane plays. When he's got a bigger lead, he actually gets better. Great return right there. It's a good shot by Moscoso. Seven twelve now on the head pen scoreboard. Little contact, contact early. Yeah, I agree. I mean, that's I just mean, that's a replay. One of the, yeah, that's something that actually Brennan Jennings was talking about. That a lot of people want an avoidable because it is a setup. But if the contact comes well before you're yeah. at the ball or near the ball, that's going to be a replay. Kane says, I don't need an avoidable. I'll just rip it. Short ball. Thank everybody for their stars today. Appreciate it. Mr. Turbo, I hope you figure out how to send us the stars. <laughs> Ooh, that was interesting. Not a right time there. to be cued at 12 7. Not really, no. <laughs> Kane says, You make that, I'm going to make you pay. No, I don't know what he just said, actually, but. Point for Look, Kane reverse Rosen. pinch from that shot. What are, you, what are you thinking? The whole line is open. Match point number one. Game number one went 15 6. And now we're at 15, 14 7. Match point. Kane goes back up top. This might be tough in the corner. It's a good reset. Big setup with the forehand. Good grab. Another good get. Another good get. Penalty. Match point, baby. Sorry. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 15-6, 15-7. Waslenchuk will move on. Let's see that again. I tell you, it's a very different Kane Waslenchuk on the court. I got to commend, though, Conrado for moving out of the way, but it was too little too late. 
15-6, 15-7, Wazalanchuk moves on to the final. Yes, we are gonna take a short break and we're gonna have an interview with one of the sponsors. Make sure you tune in right here. Papa Nicholas himself will be back on IRT Live. My name is Sebastian Fernandez, I'm 18 and I'm from Mexico. Before being part of the Reaching Your Dream Foundation, I dreamt of being in the top 50 and now that I'm now I'm in the top 22 and that is because Reaching Your Dream Foundation has helped me cover my expenses for traveling and hospitality which helps me focus on my game and allows me to travel to more tournaments that I couldn't do it by myself. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm with the title sponsor, Mr. James Jim Schlicker from Papa Nicholas Coffee. Uh, this is the 37th annual Papa Nicholas Coffee Shamrock Shootout presented by the Glass Court. So first of all, thank you for being a supporter of racquetball. Um, I think the whole community as a whole really appreciate it. What gave you the, uh, the, the reason to kind of step up here and become the title sponsor? Well, as you know, uh I've played racquetball for many years myself, and I happen to employ a number of people that are racquetball enthusiasts or actually very serious players. But we, we kind of feel the sport needs a little love these days, and uh, we've always been excited about the sport of racquetball and continue to be so. And you know, we look forward to uh, doing more events like this. So um, uh, earlier today, we made a, an announcement that you know they can get Papa Nicholas Coffee on your website uh, using uh, promotion code R-A-C-K-E-T-B-A-L-L-50. They're going to get 50% off on anything they buy? That's correct. Anything on our website. Uh, so really we're, we're reaching out to uh, kind of, you know, spread the good word about racquetball as well about the good word about great coffee. And so uh, everybody that's a part of uh, the Shamrock Shootout is in we'll be able to obtain 50% off every item that we have on our website. That's mighty nice of you. I'm a huge coffee enthusiast. I've been drinking the Papa Nicholas coffee all weekend. So uh, I know from the staff here, we thank you. Uh, in addition to sponsoring the tournament, you have a coffee bar outside. Coffee is free for the entire club for the past two weeks. Um, has that given you uh, guys just a little more exposure? Well, I think really just wanted to give the get the players all caffeinated up so they could perform better. But yeah, no, it's seriously, it's given us a lot of exposure. Oh, one of the things I wanted to mention is that the uh, the fifty percent off code we're going to leave open and indefinitely until further notice. So feel free to buy whatever types of coffees uh, suit your fancy. We have a, a huge variety on our website, and I think everybody could be excited about that. But no, the coffee bar itself, uh, we think. Coffee bars in general are, are um, you know, a social type thing. Coffee is a social beverage, and, and we think that that adds a whole element to uh, these tournaments that, uh, you know, people can go gather around, have a good coffee beverage, and talk about the sport. Well, both of us love racquetball, and both of us love coffee, so from the entire staff here in the IRT, we thank you for stepping up and being a title sponsor here. Guys, make sure you go to the website and check that out. Use the promotion code RACKETBALL, R-A-C-K-E-T-B-A-L-L, -L 50, and take advantage of that 50% off. Thank you so much. You. We really do appreciate it. We hope to see a lot more of Papa Nicholas Coffee. Is that a possibility? 
That's an extreme possibility. We're very proud to, uh, that we're actually very proud that we were asked and are very excited to be part of this. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Support those that, dis that support the sport. It's very huge in our community. So thank you again, uh, Jim. Coming up next on the championship court, our second semifinalist, Rocky Carson versus Alex Landa. Make sure you stay tuned. We'll be back right here on IRT Live.